Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Nightwish Army. I got another one for you today. We're gonna to be checking out Shoemaker. This was a request from JP16K in the uh, one of the previous Nightwish songs. He requested I check out this song, Shoemaker. So today we're gonna to be checking out the official lyric video first, and then I'll go over to a fan-made uh, live performance. It was the best, the best quality performance I could find. We're gonna check that one out too, so. We'll do a little bit of the, the lyric video, check out a live performance, and I'll let you know what I think about this song. So if you guys are enjoying my uh, reactions on this channel, give me a like down below. It doesn't cost you anything. It really helps out the channel. And uh, if you want to stick around for the ride, there's a subscribe button down below. Hit it, turn that red button gray, and you'll be part of the family for the ride forward. If uh, you're one of the patrons, thank you so much for being a patron to the channel. I appreciate that. Anybody who wants to join the Patreon and help support the channel, we got a link up here in the corner. And there's a link down in the description below. So that's all I got to do for promotions. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. This is Shoemaker by Nightwish. I want to play Neil deGrasse Tyson here for a minute. <laughs> this is nowhere near the approximate distance that the moon is away from the Earth. It's actually way farther away from the Earth. Probably wouldn't make for a good graphic in this in this uh, in this regard. But uh, the Earth is very much further away from the moon than it is in this particular shot here. This almost makes the moon look like it's uh, you know up there with the uh, where the Hubble and the you know the somewhere in a in a close earth orbit with some of the satellites that we have settled uh, around the earth i know that the moon is a satellite that goes around the earth i get that but it's not that close to the earth by far
Beautiful. Does anybody else look at this logo here and see golf tees? That's all I see is a whole bunch of golf tees arranged to make a logo. I know that's not what it's meant to be, but that's all I see. I believe, I'm just guessing, that this song is about the moon. I might be wrong. I was going to do a quick Google search on what that word was there at the end there. Um, Laudato. I want to I look this up real quick. All right, so... Laudato C, si, according to Wikipedia, is uh, the second encyclical of Pope Francis. The encyclical has a subtle on care of our common home. Has a subtle sub, as a subtitle on care of our common home. In it, the Pope critiques consumerism and irresponsible development, laments environmental degradation and global warming, and calls for all people of the world to take swift and unified global action. Huh. Okay, I support that. I may not be a religious man, but I can support that message. We all share this earth. We got to take care of it. And then uh, let me look up Ad Astra real quick, make sure I understand what that means. All right, so here we find that Ad Astra is a Latin phrase meaning to the stars. The phrase has its origins with Virgil, who wrote in his Aeneid, Sicitur ad astra, thus one's journey to the stars. All right, so yeah, it's a song about, uh, I believe this song is about how we all share the earth together and we need to take care of it. I originally thought it was going to be uh, a song about the moon and the and the earth and its relationship together, but with uh, the way it ended there with laudato si ad astra, I think it means we're all brothers and sisters here on the earth and we need to take care of the earth or, or we're going to end up, you know, uh, being the cause of our own demise. And so far it looks like that's where we're headed. So, uh, positive message. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out this live performance. This was uh, a live performance at Club Tietra in Ulu on July 28th, 2021. So yeah, this was just a few months ago. Um, so Nightwish is still out there torn, doing their thing. Let's see how good, uh, this, they do the performance live. Here we go. I'm just realizing now that Marco's not out there on guitar. Sad times. I don't know whose phone this is, but this is a really high quality video. This must be one of the new iPhones or something that's got that really high quality video. Looks good.
I love the wind, how it's blowing her hair, looking all uh, magical, beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, shout out to whoever shot this video. Let me see if I can find that person's name here. That was... Looks like Yanni Narva. Yanni Narva. Thank you for shooting that video. That was a great live performance. Alright, uh, so that's Shoemaker. Another great Nightwish song. Uh, I love that they... The way they write their music is so poetic. Sometimes it gets so poetic that you can't follow what they're talking about. But uh, I'm glad I took the time to look up a couple of those uh, Latin phrases so I can kind of get a little bit of a feel of what they're going for. And uh, this was a beautiful song, very operatic. I don't think I could ever uh, attempt to <clears throat> karaoke those songs, <laughs> but uh, Floor did a good job and uh, the band looked great. It was kind of sad, like I say, to see uh, so many new band members out there. I'm pretty sure the drummer's new too. If I, I might be wrong, but I think they got a new drummer and uh, Marco's not with them anymore as of this time. So, uh, hey, bands evolve over time. That's how it happens. If you guys like this video, give me a like down below and uh, appreciate you all the comments you guys have been giving on all my videos and it really helps drive the channel. It gives me some good uh, um, suggestions on what to react to and I appreciate that. I never would have found Shoemaker if it wasn't for, uh, who was it, JP? JP16K. Never would have found Shoemaker if it wasn't for him saying, hey, go check it out. So uh, appreciate all the s stuff like that. All the sub people who subscribe to the channel, thank you. I, I appreciate all the subscribers. The channel's growing pretty well right now. And uh, it's all thanks to you guys, and I know that. I appreciate that very much. So if you're not subscribed yet, hey, hit that red button down below. Turn that button gray, and uh, you'll become a 
subscriber to the channel. And I really appreciate all the people who've joined the Patreon to help support the channel financially. Uh, uh, I really feel blessed that you guys are there, you know, helping support the channel and definitely be updating some of the editing software soon and some of the lights and cameras. We're going to be changing things up, making it better for, for you guys so the experience looks better out there. So appreciate all my patrons. If you want to become a patron, there's a link up in the corner over here or you can uh, find a link down in the description. So that's all I got for this one. I appreciate y'all stopping by and don't forget to come on back.